you must. We've we got issues with... We've got issues over here, will you? With, with breathing the wrong way around. Yeah, I do. Oh, yes, that's right. So she's... Deep breath in. So when you breathe, so it's going to come out. Yeah, when you breathe in, it's going to go. Okay, if you're finding it hard, so it's going to go, just whatever you want, if you're finding it hard, just go... <coughs> just have a cough. Come into all fours. Right. All fours and cough. <coughs> Can it go down? Now do a laugh. Ha 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 ha. So a laugh. Yeah? Feel it drop? Yeah? So when you breathe, but it goes in and out. Yeah? Down. You're putting your belly in. You're putting your mouth in. So I have to put it in. Right. right. Now, you're going to change. Finger, finger, finger. One, two, three. One, two, three with the fingers. Yeah? Okay. Deep breath in. That's it. Breathe out, think about sucking in the second finger. This is where your training comes in, your, your sensory pathways awaken, right? You're aligning the brain with the body. Be aware of how your body moves the space. Deep breath in again. Breathe out. Deep breath in again. Breathe out. One more time, deep breath in. Breathe out. Good. Well done. Back to road mats, guys. Fantastic. <laughs> now, talk to me. Talk to me. Talk to me. I want to know. Right, so, what are you telling me? Who found that really hard? Yeah? The few of you that found that really hard. So, what happens is this. We have what we call engrams in the brain. That's what is natural patterns and positions of strength. So your body will find a central position of strength and it will just go to that position and it will hold on to it. Yeah? So what happens is if you have um, if you have a faulty pattern, some of our breathing, most of us have faulty breathing, we call it, so when you come to the clinic, it's collarbone breathing or all this <coughs> chest duct shit stuff that stays here, but nothing happens down here. It's faulty breathing and it can take between 3,000 to 5,000 repetitions to undo one faulty training pattern. So the breathing is the biggest issue for most people. Then the next one, imagine if you squat and you, you're not me, you do this all the time. And that's how you always squat it. When I say squat, you'll naturally do this. That's an end round. That's a body's position of strength. So 350 reps to put one faulty pattern in, 5,000 reps to undo one pattern. Yeah? So if you've trained bad, you've got bad patterns. They take long to undo. So when you do, when you come in, which is like what happens when you come into the clinic, for so you come into my clinic, then I do, I film everything, give you the videos, I send you, I take pictures as well, send you how you've got work to do. So you're going to say, well, I can only come forward once a week, fine, not a problem. That means you've got work to do, you've got to do it every day. Now, obviously, the less time you dedicate to it, the longer it's going to take for you to change. So if you find it really hard to do this breathing, you think, I'm not going to bother doing it, it's up to you. Yeah? That's why I take payment up front, because. <laughs> right, number one. Number two, I know the program works because as long as you're 100% compliant, it will work. So this breathing might be annoying and it might be boring at first, but I tell you what, the day you get that breath in and your vagina starts responding, you'll be on that phone to me. You'll be jumping around in the front room. <laughs> It'd be so excited. And that connection, when that connection comes in, then the program takes off. Yeah? That's what you need to do. But that then happens for every exercise you do. It's not about training the vagina just so you can have great sex, which is nothing wrong with it, great sex, but you know, you don't want to have a 24 hours, but you might want to have a 24 hours, you know? <laughs> but you've got things to do, yes? What you want to be able to do is to be able to laugh, jump, run, sneeze, cough, twist, move, and not have to think about it. Yes or no? Yes. yes? That's the ultimate thing. So for me, I would say that sex is the last bit, and it's the ultimate reward, yeah? But when you get to that point of a functional pelvic floor, what happens is you have flatter abdominals, a much nicer, much better butt, much improved thighs, improved posture. That's the first four things you get for, for learning to breathe properly and for focusing on that pelvic floor. That's, so you can't burn it, well, you can if you don't want them. Me personally, I think they're worth having. Then, the fifth one for me is the dry knickers always. Not having to worry about the incontinence and going out and buying your knickers and not thinking, okay, I'm going to go somewhere just to get those, and then I'm going to go to Boots. <laughs> yeah? And then the last one, of course, like I said, is the sex. So, which of the six do you not want? You want all of them? Right. 
Good. Okay. So let 